First of all, buonasera. Good evening to uh, everyone. I want to thank you for, uh, for coming tonight. Uh, most of you, I believe, have heard the statement that uh, I gave today at the Ministry of Defense, uh, so I'll be very brief uh, before moving on to your questions. Uh, I guess I'll just note for you that uh, any time I come to Italy, it's a very special occasion for me uh, as the uh, son of Italian immigrants. I think uh, the first time uh, I came to Italy was uh, with my parents, uh, as I said, both of whom were immigrants who came in the 30s and then decided uh, in the 50s that it was time to, to go back uh, to Calabria and visit uh, the home. And uh, I had a chance to do it. My, my grandfather actually came out in 1938 to visit my mother in Monterey. And uh, because the war broke out uh, as an Italian, uh, he was uh, not able to come back to Italy. So he spent most of his time raising me because my parents were working in a restaurant. Uh, so I got to know my nonno very well. And uh, I, that's where I learned to speak Italian. I had to in order to eat to be able to talk to him, to make sure that he did that. So. Uh, I had a chance, my nonna came back to Italy and uh, had a chance then to come back uh, and visit him and my nonna, uh, who were still alive at that time. Uh, since then, I've come back a number of times to uh, Italy in different capacities, both in the Congress. Uh, I came back uh, in a private capacity a number of times to, to be here. And then also as uh, Chief of Staff to President Clinton, who visited here in the anniversary of the war, uh, one of the anniversaries uh, from the war and uh, obviously came here as director of the CIA and now as Secretary of Defense. So it is uh, it's something that uh, is very important for me to uh, be able to go back to uh, the roots of my family and to uh, enjoy the great hospitality of Italians and, and not to mention the great food and, and great drink that you, you get as well. Uh, let, me, uh, uh, let me indicate to you that uh, today, in addition to uh, the meetings that I had with uh, Minister De Paula, I had a very good uh, consultation today with uh, President Napolitano, with uh, Prime Minister Monti, and also with uh, Minister Terzi. Uh, I had a good, uh, good discussion on a number of issues uh, uh, and I expressed to all of them, again, my deep thanks for the great partnership that the United States has with Italy, particularly when it comes to security issues. In all of the meetings, uh, we reaffirm the importance of the alliance uh, between the United States and Italy and our commitment to uh, strengthening our defense relationship in order to meet uh, future security challenges together. I, I was also particularly honored to be able to pay tribute to Italy's war sacrifices uh, at, the, uh, uh, at the Altare della Patria uh, and uh, be able to uh, to again do this in remembrance of all of those that have been lost in past wars. Uh, America deeply appreciates uh, Italy's steadfast support uh, over the last decade of war and its continued leadership in Afghanistan uh, and the continued support that we receive uh, in the many bases that uh, host our uh, American men and women. We will never forget, never forget that Italy stood with us after 9-11 in every way. Uh, let, me, uh, let me mention to you uh, at this point, if I might, uh, that uh, I've just uh, been informed about what happened uh, in Algeria. And uh, I received an initial briefing on this, uh, and obviously we're continuing to review the situation to determine uh, exactly what happened. By all indications, uh, this is a terrorist act and the United States strongly condemns these kinds of terrorist acts. It is a very serious matter when Americans uh, are taken hostage uh, along with others. Uh, we will continue to uh, review the situation. Uh, we're in consultation with the Algerians as well as the, the British uh, to determine exactly uh, what happened and what the situation is. And uh, I want to assure uh, the American people that the United States will take all necessary and proper steps 
uh, that are required to deal with this situation. So with that, I'm open to your questions.